Hi everyone. Came out to do a landlord gas safety certificate on this boiler. Uh, a new ideal boiler, only one year old. I didn't fit it. So I thought nice and easy, I'll be in and out in no time. Uh, it was a new customer, new landlord as well. So kind of didn't want to see the flue integrity test failing. Um, started thinking, need to, need to check this again. Maybe my analyzer's playing up, uh, but no. Keep getting readings, possibly, you know, maybe just a gust of wind had blown a little bit back in. Um, so, hung about for a bit and kept retrying. Got the hot tap on now. Um, and as you can see, we keep getting readings. But what the problem is as well, it's a brand new boiler with, well, I would hope a new flue. But where is the issue? Is it is it a flu issue or or is it a, a burner? Like is there a leak in the boiler from the like maybe the burner? Maybe there's a problem there. So I'm only there doing a landlord gas certificate. But I know and I, I wanna tell the customer, he's gonna ask me, well what, what do we need to do to, to rectify it? So I'm hanging about as long as I can trying to work out what actually the issue is so I can so I can inform him. A little trick here, why I'm doing the flue integrity test, I take the cover off. And what this does, it allows fresh air to come in through the actual, from the actual room I'm stood in, and not as much air coming in th through from outside and actually th through the flue. And as you can see, we're getting better readings now and that tells me, well, it, it, it indicates to me initially that potentially it is the flu. Because um, when the cover's fully off, um, the pressure on the flu isn't as great because it's, it's pulling air in from the room and, and the readings aren't so concentrated and we're not doing too bad there. Um, but could it be the burner? So let, let's check the burner. If, the, if, if there was a seriously high load of readings there, potentially that could affect, affect the flu integrity test. However, you've got to remember the fans pulling and drawing air through the flu into the, into the combustion chamber. Um, so it's quite hard for the, any readings from the burner could, would go the other way. It is possible. Um, as you can see, around the burner, we're getting a couple of readings. But as we all know, you always get a few readings on ideal boilers around the top of the burner. That, so that's that's nothing to worry about. Um, and I wouldn't say that's going to affect the fluid integrity. Plus, there was no CO2 showing. Anyway, I've come back. I've decided it's the flu. And prior to this, I actually had the flu off and checked it. I resealed the seals with a bit of silicon grease. Did actually get a slightly better readings, but they were still not perfect. Um, probably just passable, but, but we decided a new flu was the, was the best course of action. Right, so here we go. Right, we're back at the job. Let's get this flu changed. What is quite good with ideal is you can, you can get the elbow off quite easily off the top of the boiler. Um, flew out, so that's all pretty straightforward. But what I did find, because it's quite a, a thick wall on this house, that a standard 
I think it's a 500 or 600 flu, whatever, ideal, mate, the, the standard small one. It wouldn't have been big enough. So looking at them two, that, that section of the flu there, to me, does not look like one year old. That looks pretty bad. This potentially is the new flu. But have they realised that it wasn't long enough and they've patched it up with a section from the old boy that they took out? Because I do know that it, when, after speaking to the landlord that it was an, an old ideal that they replaced. So maybe they patched the flu up. Right, my new flu I've bought, 0 0.8 metres, the correct length. Plus, the customer wants a plume kit on. And to use a plume kit, you, you need to buy a rigid flu, not the telescopic. So 800 mil rigid flu. Let's check how much flu goes into the flu turret. 30 mil. So put the elbow on, well, or turret. Let's measure how much of the flu this seal takes up. So that's about 15 mil. So now we want to measure from the edge of the elbow turret to the edge of the outside of the wall. And then we're going to add on the other measurements. So we've got 710 mil there. But then we've got to add on 30 mil, which disappears into the flu turret. And an extra 15 mil that we want protruding outside that will allow the seal to go on. And hopefully we will have no white on show because you should know, according to our deal, no white is allowed. So there we've measured the total measurement of them three measurements added together. Uh, as you can see on the ideal flu, not a lot of the inner flu protrudes out. But if you look in that elbow, we can actually have a bit extra of the inner flu. Um, so don't skimp when cutting the out the outer flu. Leave a little bit extra. It will go into the will go into the turret. Right. So I'm all cut now. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bit past the line, just a little bit on the safe side. Right. Luckily, the terminal will slide right through that hole, so we can actually get the elbow on first. Makes it a little bit easier. We can make sure it's fully engaged in, in the seals. We can slide it all in from the inside. Don't forget your inner seal though. Just, just to make it look neater. I've forgotten it there, so I'm gonna have to take the elbow back off. Yeah, you know, we've all done that. Right, well, it's on now. Um, I easy foam the inside, which I, I don't do yet, and I sand and cement the outside, but I'm not doing that yet. I'm going to make sure it passes its blue integrity test. So let's get this secure. Yeah, all nicely locked back in. Screw tighten up, or bolt, whatever you want to call it. Right, come outside. We can push that in, make sure it's fully engaged, twist it into the right position, and let's go and do a flu integrity. Um, before I cement or secure the flu, I want to make sure this flu's correct and it wasn't anything to do with the boiler itself. Right, not, not anything. We're not getting nothing. That's what you'd expect from most boilers, and especially a one-year-old boiler that's, you know, only just been recently installed. So, customer wants a plume kit, so just, if you don't know how to do this, yep, you pull that nose out, which has got like a O-ring, and then the plume kit just pushes into it. So again, if you put in a plume kit, it has to be 
one of the rigid flues that you have to cut to size, not a telescopic one. Right, we're all in, cage on, I've had to cut a hole in the cage, bolt the bracket to the wall, left some stickers on, I know they need taking off, you know, if we want it looking all nice and neat. Oh, I've got the wonder wipes out, I'm giving the flu a little wipe because I did cut it outside on the stone wall. So I thought I'd scratched it, but actually it's come up pretty good now. And that's it, boys. Job finished.